Okay, thanks for watching this video. What I want to show you in this video is what the pictures look like when they come in when they come back into PreserveSoft. So we can see here this work order on 810 90th Avenue North in St. Petersburg. Um, what I want to show you what what they look like when you log back into PreserveSoft if you have not fully submitted the work order. So let's click on the picture icon, and we can see all of our pictures now. The first bucket here is grass cut, then street sign, front of the house, AC unit, and front house view. So all this has been done automatically using the app, correctly clicking into each label type and labeling it as before, during, or after. So we can see here on our grass cuts we have befores, we have durings, and we have after. All completely done for us. It's so easy. We've got our street sign, front of the house, the AC unit, and the address front view. So at this point I'm sure that you can really see the value of using this app and the huge amount of time savings that it's going to do for you. Now, please remember that grass cuts can be fully submitted by filling out the grass cut PCR, submitting the grass cut PCR, and clicking the checkbox at the bottom of the app. If you want to QC your, your crews work out in the field, have them not check the check mark on the bottom, call you, and then you can log into PreserveSoft a few minutes later, and all their information will be there ready for you to look at. When completing work orders that aren't REO cuts, or grass cuts, you will still need to log in to PreserveSoft, find that work order in your queue, and completely fill out the uh, full PCR, but all your pictures, if done properly, will be labeled and bucketed completely for you, and then you can submit the work order. Thanks for watching.